The Olympic Park in East London is almost finished. Construction cost 10 billion euros, four times more than planned, but the emphasis throughout was on sustainability. The Olympic motto may be faster, higher, stronger, but these games are focusing on being greener, cleaner and gentler. Thousands of trees have been planted, rivers have been cleaned up, and even the park's soil was washed. Much of it was contaminated through decades of industrial use. The organizers were also keen to ensure that the stadium itself was built according to green principles. When we designed the roof, we then uh, we, we found some actual some some gas pipeline of, of slightly different sizes, and we redesigned that gas pipe that that roof so we could accommodate and re and reuse this uh, gas pipeline steelwork. So, 4,000 tons of this could have been just disused pipeline uh, lying around somewhere, but actually now uh, it's now part of this fantastic structure. Ever since London won the bid to host the 2012 Games, one focus has been on their legacy. From the outset, organisers plan to recycle and reuse the new buildings. This stadium here, a 25,000 seat venue, we knew would be a successful legacy for London, this area of London. We had to build an 80,000 seat stadium in, in, in this area for the, for the Olympic Games, so we built this in a very demountable, lightweight um, fashion with standard components from the industry that can be just recycled back into the, uh, back into the steel and construction market. The best example of economic sustainability is the Lee Valley Whitewater Centre, a new development built for the canoeing Olympics. It's already open to the public. A year before the Games begin, Sean McCarthy, chairman of the Commission for a Sustainable London, thinks there's still lots of room for improvement. I'm not entirely...